and welcome back to another Story Jam. You always start that the same way. Well, this is the way I start Story Jam. Just because you do it that way all the time, you still could freshen it up, couldn't you? Well, I guess so. I, I guess I could be open-minded about the way I start Story Jam. Okay, be right back. Welcome to another edition of Story Jam 2.0. Trying out some new things because I got a little feedback that we should mix it up a little bit. And you know what? That reminds me of our learner profile of the week. It is being open-minded. What does it really mean to be open-minded? Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. It means that even though we value our own beliefs and traditions and opinions, we can still appreciate beliefs, traditions, and opinions that other people hold. Our way isn't the only way to do something. And just because we've always done something a certain way doesn't mean it's the best way or the only way to do it. So we're staying open to perspectives, to opportunities, and to ideas. And that's going to help us grow as individuals. So today we have a really great story to read. It's called The Day You Begin. The author is Jacqueline Woodson and the illustrator is Rafael Lopez. I wonder how this book relates to being open-minded. Let's find out. I'm taking a look at our title page. We know what's on the title page. You all are doing a fantastic job with that. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way the words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Roberto from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Chyla says. These shells came from the beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey 
their travels going on and on. And you stand in the front of the room and you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days were spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. In that room, where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this? When other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere, There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange, too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Nadia will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high. The run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. You don't want him on your team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice a little bit stronger than it was a minute ago reading books and, and telling stories. And even though we were right on the block. It was like, it was like we went everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once in the room where no one else was quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches and your books and your travel and your stories where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. And isn't that the beauty of having people who are different around you? We have things that are similar between us and when we're open-minded and when we listen to the stories from others, we will make those connections. 
But then we will also celebrate the things that are different. I love this line right here. The world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. I wonder how having an open mind can help us make space for others. How can having an open mind help us make connections and learn and grow? Wow, what a beautiful thing that would be. Well, I want to thank you for joining me on another edition of Story Jam. Ooh, maybe I should do my ending a little bit different too. I highly recommend that. soon.